My name is James O'Keefe. On August 17, 2009, Hannah Giles and I took our ACORN investigation to San Bernardino, California, one of the most highly foreclosed and economically desolate areas in the country. Hannah posed as the prostitute seeking to traffic in underage girls from El Salvador. I posed as the up-and-coming local politician who wanted to use illicit sex money from the underage girls to fund my future congressional campaign. There was only one employee present in the large Acorn building in San Bernardino, Teresa Kalekey. My name is Teresa. Teresa explained she herself used to be an escort and has experience not getting caught. And I ran a service. Really? Yeah. I have some I'm, experience I'm sorry. In, in, in how not to get caught. Acorn employee Teresa Kalekey also admitted she was no stranger to crime, having shot and killed her ex-husband. I shot him. I shot him. Self-defense? Yeah. And then I just picked up the gun and said, fuck you. And I shot him. And he died. Right there. And, but before that, I had done some, laid some groundwork. You know, mm -hmm. I went to a domestic violence shelter and I yeah. pleaded my case with them. And uh, so everybody in town was knowing that this was happening. Yeah. After that, Teresa sent us to her friend Jim Miller across the street who gave us a few extra tips. Well, you would be competing with all the black ladies who just briefly walk up and down the streets. Mm -hmm. And they're in the 20 to $40 bracket. Jim Miller even suggested setting up the prostitution business as a small school to disguise the underage girls. Even set up a 501c3. Or just small even school. a trailer. Acorn employee Teresa Kalekey then told us she would threaten Jim Miller with his life if he told anybody about the prostitution business. But as soon as you leave, I'm going to go over and talk to the both of them and threaten them with their lives because I can kill people. Yeah. And I have a problem with that. <laughs> okay. By the time I'm finished with him, he will think this never happened. I, I'm the one that, that, that did my husband. And Acorn employee Teresa Kalekey spoke of the politicians in California she lobbies on a daily basis. Yeah. I talk to congressmen, senators, assembly uh, people really? every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gloria Negretti uh, McLeod, Torres, let's see, Wilmer Amina Carter is assemblywoman. Mm -hmm. I am the 62nd district. Mm -hmm. Baca is right up here in San Bernardino, Barbara Boxer. Mm -hmm. um, That's cool. Yeah. Teresa went on to suggest it was okay to induce violence against the underage girls to get more sex profits. I mean, they, they pay thousands of dollars more if they're a little violent with these 14-year-old girls. Again, it's how you want it to be run. Yeah. Don't forget, it's, you can mold this into anything you want. Okay. You know, uh -huh. you can mold it into the, into the level of, of uh, um, decency or indecency. And then Acorn employee Teresa Kalekey told us not to worry about laundering the sex profits into my campaign, as a percentage of the money going to President Obama and the Kennedys can be brought into question. Do you think every congressman, every legislator, do you think that even Obama, you know, our new president, right. um, or any of them, ever, ever actually put down every single uh, resource where they got their money? You may ask... Is that it? No, Acorn employee Teresa Kalki was just getting started. Give me the drum. I wanna tell you about a girl I kissed. She was ridiculous. I'm mean picturesque. Yeah, she was more than looking beautiful. See, she was in the know with the physical. It's prostitution. Oh, okay. And we want to set up sort of like a business um, to do this type of thing. And a prostitution business. That's right. We've been, we've been to a couple banks to try to ob obtain housing, uh, a, a place to establishment where, yeah. where you can do your work. And we faced a lot of discrimination from many oh, different Well, I'll bet you have, you know, because <laughs> there are a lot of narrow-minded, you know, one-sided, let's see. Right wing, <laughs> bleeding heart liberals out there that that you know, and they're I mean bleeding hearts, not necessarily liberals, because yeah. um, if they were liberal, they would be helping you. 
So we're bringing these girls from overseas, well, but we here. are going to take a, a cut of the profit, and yeah. I and I intend to use the profit right. from the tricks the girls perform right. to fund my political campaign right. and the okay, advertising. But, but you see, do you think every single, do you think every congressman, every legislator, do you think that even Obama, you know, our new president, right, um, or any of them, ever ever actually? put down every single uh, resource where they got their money. Kennedy, they got their money from bootlegging and prostitution. They got their money what from about running illegal whiskey. And I ran a service. Really? Yeah. Well, Heidi Fleiss is my hero. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, and believe me, I do know, because I used to employ girls that, that, that would do this because they didn't care. I had people, women, that would take care of every little wish, you know, every fantasy. We don't disclose, you know, how, you, you said you have some experience maybe like 40 years ago, but it still might help us. I have us. some I'm, experience I'm starting, in, in, in how not to get caught. Right. I, I am the one that did the bookings. Okay. At that time, I, I made 15 grand and, and they made 10. Mm -hmm. um, that's a lot of money. It was a lot of money for a week. Yeah. You know, well, for like six days. No kidding. Yeah. Um, and, and, we, and that was paid up front. Yeah. Um, um, in cash? In cash, nice. yes. Did you declare it all? or? I didn't declare a dime. No, wow. it's cash. You don't you know. have to. No, uh-uh. We've been trying to go through the other authorities, but they have been unhelpful with us because of, you know, oh, they're, they're just, they don't yeah. want to deal with these no. sex, sex girls coming in right. performing sex. That They think, we don't have anything to do with well, that. They'll be, a, they'll be a client, but they don't but they don't want to set you up. <laughs> yeah, isn't that ridiculous? I mean... Yeah, it is.